Right, so I'm now going to show you how to install Google Analytics onto your Bubble uh, app so that you can track um, user information, uh, track, track what users are visiting your site and which pages they're visiting, etc. Uh, so really simply, here I'm just showing you it's Midland Labs Analytics. Um, I've logged into Google Analytics and I can see a, a sort of homepage with the stats and so forth. I'm going to click on the admin button, little cog in the bottom left. And that's going to take me to the admin page <clears throat> and then going to look for the tracking info because what I'm trying to find is the snippet that I'm going to use. So it's called the little JavaScript snippet. So I click on tracking code under the property and then again on tracking code. Uh, and what this does is this gives me the global, uh, global um, site tag or, or basically the snippet code. Grab that piece of code. Go back to my app um, very simply because I want to allow analytics to see every single page on the site rather than putting it into the header of every page, which I would do via um, here, the HTML header here. Um, I can actually go into settings um, on my app and I can go to SEO and meta tags. I can scroll down here and scripts, meta tags in header. Click in there and I can paste my snippet into that box there. And you can you can um, include multiple snippets in there. So um, if you've got, I don't know, a hot jar or something else that you're using as well, you could put that in there as well if you wanted on every page. And that, once I push live, will be on my web. Um, and that will start sending data back to Google Analytics. As soon as I push that live, I should start to see stuff in Google Analytics. And it's as simple as that. Nice and easy. So that's Google Analytics installed onto my um, app. There are a number of plugins on there um, available via the Bubble plugin marketplace. And some work, some don't. That, that will work like that. So um, save yourself installing a plugin.